Call someone, call a friend, call a neighbor, and let them connect to this command in the day. Exodus 15 and in verse 11. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like unto thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Let's go ahead tonight and appreciate God for all of his wonders on this altar. Father, we give you praise. We thank you for all you are doing in our midst. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Father, for all of your wonders, all of your acts, oh God. We have experienced in our lives, we have experienced in our destiny. We appreciate you. We give you all the praise for all of our services for your help. Thank you, Father, for interventions in the lives of your people on this altar. We magnify you. We appreciate you. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your servant, your mighty hands upon your servant like never before. Father, we make demands on fresh unction, fresh grace on your servant tonight like never before. For in the name of Jesus, we pray. If you are excited, can you give Jesus a shout of victory? Please put a call to someone, call someone, wake someone to get connected on this altar. And also, please go to our touch point and share on Facebook, Twitter, and other touch points. And God bless you greatly as we make welcome the praise team. Hallelujah. 
Come on. Let's give him some praise. Hallelujah. Can we jump your beautiful hands together for Jesus once more? To Jesus once more. And add a sound of praise. Hey. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell you, Lord. Everybody sing. Nare.
Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please take your seat and welcome somebody, wake somebody, invite somebody, share the link with somebody, ensure that they are connected to this commanding the day midnight prayers today in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Testimonies. Testimonies from Mrs. O. Corede from Lagos. I give God Almighty the glory for his wonderful, wonderful works in this prayer platform. My son kept having difficulties in breathing both day and night, especially when he sleep in the night. He was later diagnosed of having adrenal growth blocking his airways. He was placed on medication and later recommended for surgery. I kept believing God for divine surgery on my son. Anytime the man of God declared divine healing, declaring the airways. Hallelujah. You can no more hear this frightening snore. Snores whenever he's sound asleep. Secondly, no longer walk into cobwebs anymore. Thirdly, my sugar level is no longer, I mean, now controlled compared to diabetic rhythm. A few years back, God on this prayer altar shall cease. To answer our prayer. Shall not cease. Shall not cease, sorry. To answer our prayers. Shall not cease to answer our prayer. I appreciate the sacrifice of the commanding the day midnight prayer crew. More testimonies loading to the glory of God Almighty. Give the Lord a big clap and a Amen. shout of praise. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy a new day and a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Testimonies are coming your way in this season in Jesus' name. Amen. We have further testimonies, can we? We have testimony from Bro Alfonso from Enugu. Calvary greetings to my precious Dunamis family. Above only, that is my place. God of command the demon prayer is Jehovah overdue. I want to return all the glory to God of this exalted altar who has been doing wonders in my life and family ever since I joined this commission December 2023. I've always asked God during the personal supplication to say to my two young sisters, Osinachi and Amarachi, who are single. On April 2nd, 2024, Amarachi's bride price was paid and they, have, and, they, and they have had their court registry done. I want to return all the glory to God who made this possible for my sister. May his name alone be praised. May God bless our beloved Pastor Paul Enenche and Pastor Becky Enenche. God will continue to bless you and the command the day that prayer crew for all your sacrifices. Amen. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have testimony. People of God, praise the Lord. God bless the day I, have, I came across the command the day prayers on the YouTube. I have been battling with irregular menstrual flow for over 16 years now. Sometimes I see it for almost three months nonstop. Sometimes even more. Sometimes it stops for a day or two. And if I laugh with the slightest pressure, it will burst out again. Very heavy. And at some other times, I won't see it for two years or more. And it happens this way to all the females born of my father. When I joined the Command Day Day program last year, December, and kept keen into any testimony that has to do with healing of irregular menstrual flows and infertility. People of God, I don't know how God did it, but since January 2024, I have been seeing my period very regularly, and it flows normally for just four to five days till date which has never happened before. I am coming back to testify with more testimonies in Jesus' name. God bless you, son, ma. May your anointing never run dry. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have Sister Peace from Ghana testifying. Above only, that's my place. I joined Command the Day Bringer Prayer in March 2024, and I've been praying every night since then. In one of the episodes, Dr. Paul Enetcher declared that he canceled premature death. And that the person would see the sign, but it would not happen. I just said amen. I never knew it was my son. My husband and I, together with our three children, went out to buy chicken on Good Friday. On our way back, we were, we were to cross the road. 
as we waited for the traffic to reduce before we crossed the road, I saw a black ant on my husband's hand. And I told him that an ant was on his hand. Immediately, my five-year-old son panicked out of fear and let go of his, his father's hand to cross the road. But I immediately held him, and at the exact moment, a car sped by right, by right beside us. Had it not been for the Lord on our side, the enemy wanted to prove a point. Three days before the incident, I dreamt and saw three coffins, and my son standing near the coffin holding six eggs in his hands. I have come, I have come to return all glory to God. God bless you, son, ma. I do not take it for granted at all. Amen. The devil will not waste your seed. You shall fulfill your days in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are we done with four? Stand up on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings. So I bring my prayers to you as a sacrifice of love. So I bring my prayers. comfortably seated. Father, you know that our love for you is for real. Thank you. Thank you. We are grateful to you for all that you have been doing in our midst. Thank you for the testimonies today and thank you for the testimonies every single day. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you today and I'd like to encourage you to wake up your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones. Tell somebody to be up and join the prayer tonight. It's a powerful deliverance night. And your life and destiny can't remain the same. Praise the Lord. Let's take a look at some more testimonies. Godwin from Canada says, Good evening, commanding the day uh, family. He wants to bless the name of, the, of, of, of God Most High for the fulfillment of God's prophecies in his life through his servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. In the early weeks of February 2024, God's servant gave a prophecy that someone was about to write an exam and should fear not, for God had granted them success. On February 28th, um, he had a professional certificate exam and another on April 3rd. He received the word and began to pray with it. He passed the first exam knowing fully well that he was supernaturally aided to pass that exam. What was amazing about the second exam, which he was quite worried about, was that a week before the exam, YouTube suggested a message by God's servant titled, What You Need to Know to Activate the Ministry of Angels, Powerful. And he watched the message, understood it, and added it to the prophecy that he had received. And the night before the exam, he watched it again and prayed with the instruction along with the worship song, you are always there to help. The exam was tough, but he gave it his best. 
When he came out, he was welcomed with preliminary congratulations message indicating that he had passed. He was filled with joy and thanksgiving for God fulfilling the prophecy of exam success in his life. He has come to give glory to God and pray that God will continue to uphold the commanding, pray, commanding the day prayer crew. Thank you, Lord. He will come back to continue his testimony of a job offer appointment by next week as he believes God will perfect all that concerns him. The picture is attached. That's the congratulatory message. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, somebody takes cue from this. He didn't just join the commanding the day. He didn't just listen to what was being said. He also listened to messages and listened to worship songs. And he took steps according to what was declared to him. I see God doing something similar in your life. As well, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Hallelujah. Let's... Sister J from Abuja says, Greetings to the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer family. Above only, that is my place. Um, she wants to glorify the name of the Lord for taking away her shame and fears. She has had bad breath for a very long time. She was always ashamed to talk to people closely. But if she had to do that, then she had to put chewing gum or a candy in her mouth. The facial expression on people's faces whenever she talks is so embarrassing. It makes her lose her confidence. Some people do throw saliva, even her closest friends. So on the 11th of April, during the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer, live from the United Kingdom, the senior pastor, Dr. Pastor Paul Enche, made a declaration that a lady with a name that starts with the letter J, God is healing your bad breath. She shouted, Amen. Sir, her name is Jumai. Mm. And she knows that the declaration was for her. The next evening, she noticed that her breath was fresh throughout. Wow. On Saturday, she went to the office and tested it by talking to her colleague very closely. And sir, no one gave her any attitude or bad facial mm. expression. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She's also tested it today again by talking to her sister that always complained too. That she, uh, uh, but she didn't turn away. She has come to return all the glory to the God of Dunamis for healing her. God bless you. And the entire commanding the day midnight prayer crew, the declaration is attached. Again, lady with the name that's the J. Thank you for healing of bad breath. Wow. Hallelujah. Glory Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. The testimony is permanent in Jesus' name. Next testimony. Testi testimony from Sister M.W. from the UK. Says, good evening, brethren. She joined the commanding day midnight prayer when she visited Nigeria towards the end of last month. During the prayers of the, of the first few days of the new month, the second and the second quarter, God's servant declared new jobs and promotions, and she keyed into this and believed God. She returned to the UK on the 7th and resumed work on the 8th. As soon as she resumed work, her manager told her that she had, that she had strongly recommended her for a managerial role at another service, and she was confident, she was confident. Well, she was confident that it would be done. Let's say that. So the next two days, she was interviewed for the role, or, or should she say she was offered the post? It was only after she accepted it that an advert was put out, and she was told to apply for it for, formal, for formality. She started her new role on Monday the 15th. Praise the Lord. Although this service had sacked two managers in the past eight months, she trusts that by God's grace, Things will improve greatly in the service and she will not end up like her predecessors. Instead, she will excel and live when she wants. God bless you all. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mrs. Joyce from Italy says, 
Praise the Lord. Good evening, sir and man. Everyone contributing to the success of this program. She has come to return all the glory to God. In the year 2023, she was diagnosed of multiple fibroids. She had a bloated abdomen and severe pains frequently. But this January, the pains became worse. So she went back to her doctor. She, uh, uh, and the doctor told her that she had to remove the fibroids. They may have to remove uh, equally remove her uterus due to the excruciating pains. She was scheduled for surgery in October 2024 for a total hysterectomy. But in February, when Pastor Paul Enenche asked that we get a point of contact, if there was something uh, that, oh my God, she was expecting point, point of contact. If there were expectant mothers, she bought baby girl clothes and told God to make the fibroid become a baby girl. Pastor then declared that the last period they saw would be the last until they bring forth their children. She put the cloth on her tummy and shouted, Amen. Brethren, in March, her period was late for a few days and she decided to run a pregnancy test. Hey! The test was positive. God has, has turned her multiple fibroids into a fine girl. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, sir and ma, and the commanding the day midnight prayer crew. God bless you all for making this program always available. Pregnancy test and the scan is attached. That's wow. the scan. That's the fetal pole there. Baby growing in the womb. Pregnancy test positive. Wow. Someone that was slated for total abdominal hysterectomy. Wow. Is now carrying a pregnancy in Meaning that Meaning that the whole womb was meant to be removed. Completely radical surgery. The same womb that was meant to be removed is now carrying a baby. Stand on your feet and let's celebrate the Okay. book of John chapter 8. Please wake your friends, wake your loved ones, wake your neighbors, and wake everyone and let them know, command the demon at prayer is on. John 8, 32, the Bible said, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And verse 36 said, and if the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Lift your voice after me and say, Father, Father thank you, thank you. For, the for the reality of your word. Thank, thank you, O Lord, o Lord for all round, for all round liberty, liberty brought to us, brought to us by, your by your word. Be glorified, Be glorified. O, Lord, o Lord, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Go on ahead and pray. Father, thank you. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Precious name. Amen. The Lord has said and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Jeremiah 32 and in verse 17, he said, Our Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Verse 27, he said, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? We have seen very incredible manifestations of God, including tonight, midweek service. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the incredible, for the incredible manifestations, manifestations of your might, of your might and, mercy and mercy in our midst. In our midst. Thank, you, thank you, Lord, for, the, for, consistently, for consistently doing, doing the, impossible the impossible in our midst. In our midst. Be, glorified. Be glorified, O Lord, o Lord. in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father thank, you thank you for the incredible, incredible manifestations manifestation of, your of your might and mercy, and mercy in our midst. In our midst. Thank, thank you, Lord, Lord for consistently doing the impossible in our midst. Be glorified, O oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and speak to God. <laughs> Jesus precious name. Amen. Matthew chapter 16 verse 17 we prayed very brutally and Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou Simon by Jonah for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee but my father which is in heaven verse 18 and I say unto thee that thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The gates of hell shall not prevail against your life, Amen. against my life, Amen. and against this church of Jesus. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, take we take authority over every, over every distractive, distractive counteractive, counteractive, antagonistic, antagonistic agenda, agenda of the pit of hell, pit of hell to, undermine to undermine and cast as passions on your acts in our midst. We, we bring them into immediate, immediate defeat, defeat. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Father, we take authority over every destructive, counteractive, antagonistic agenda of the pit of hell to undermine and cast a special on your acts in our midst. We bring them into immediate defeat, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over every destructive, counteractive, antagonistic agenda of the pit of hell to undermine and cast a special on your acts in our midst. We bring them into immediate defeat, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let to set the freedom of Allah Haram. Take authority over every destructive, counteractive, antagonistic agenda of the pit of hell to undermine and cast as passions on your arts and our midst will bring them into defeat. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Ephesians chapter 6 and in verse 10, he said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Somebody is, 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 is stepping out today in the strength of the Lord. And in the power of his might, you are the one. Say a loud amen. amen. Lift your voice after me and say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day 
in the strength of the Lord and the power of his might, in the power of your might to bring down every enemy agitation and orchestration in the day. Lord, in the name of Jesus, again, Father, I step into this new day in the strength of the Lord and in the power of your might to bring down every enemy agitation and orchestration in the day. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, go on and pray. Father, I step into this new day in, in the strength of the Lord and in the power of your mind to bring down every enemy agitation and orchestration in the day, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, precious name. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 to 15. Everybody read it with me. One to go. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over it. In it. You, are, you will make it an open show of every devil that is coming against your life today. Say after me, say, Father, I declare this new day as my day of open defeat and shame for the forces of hell as well as my evident triumph over them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare this new day as my day of open defeat and shame for the forces of hell as well as my evident triumph over them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. We declare this new day as our day of open defeat and shame for the forces of hell, as well as our evident triumph over them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Philippians chapter 1 and in verse 19, the Bible said, For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Somebody gets set to receive the supply of the Spirit today. Amen. Say after me and say, Father, Father I take full delivery, take full delivery of, the supply, of the supply of the Spirit of, the Spirit of, God, of God for my life, for my life in, this in this new day. Oh Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Again, Father, Father I take full I delivery, take delivery of, the of the supply of the Spirit of, the Spirit of, God, of God for my life for my in this new day. This new day. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of in Jesus. Jesus. Go on ahead and speak to God. <laughs> Jesus. Amen. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hosea chapter 2 and in verse 21. Hosea chapter 2 and it shall come to pass in that day. I will hear, said the Lord. I will hear the heavens and they shall hear the earth. Amen. See the order. The earth decrees. Heaven hears. Heaven hears. God hears. Amen. 
And so we are speak, speaking from this altar here to the heavens. And the heavens will speak and Jehovah will hear. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that the heavens, that the heavens will, hear will hear the prayers, the prayers offered, offered from, this from this altar of earth. Of earth. And you, and you will, will hear the heavens, the heavens and grant our request, request to, the Lord, to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Father, we ask that the heavens will hear the prayers offered from this altar of earth today and you will hear the heavens and grant our request Lord in the name of Jesus we ask that the heavens will hear the prayers offered from this altar of the earth and you will hear the heavens and grant our request Lord in the name of Jesus precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. Psalm 132 and in verse 18. 132. His enemies that's the enemies of the church. Will I clothe with shame? Amen. But upon himself shall his crown flourish. Amen. Enemies of your soul, our soul. Enemies of the church. They will be baptized with shame. Amen. Lift your voice and say after me. Say Father. Father we, ask we ask that you will clothe, that you will clothe the, wicked the wicked and the enemies, and the enemies of, your people of your people with shame in this season, in this season. And, delete and delete their wickedness, their wickedness from, the from the land of the living, of the living. Oh, Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. But let the, let the crown of your people, of your people flourish, flourish oh, Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus. Name Again Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will clothe the wicked, the wicked and, the and the enemies of your people with shame in this, in this season and delete, and delete their wickedness their from, the from the land of the living. Of the living. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. But let, but let the, crown the crown of your people, of your people flourish, flourish. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Go on ahead and pray. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, Amen. so shall it be Amen. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Job chapter 9 and in verse 4, Job 9, 4, he is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has hardened himself against Jehovah and has prospered? Nobody. Nobody. Father, frustrate those who harden themselves against you. Amen. And, he, and, and, and once you, who has hardened himself against him and prospered? The reason why they will not prosper is Deuteronomy 4, 23. 24, Deuteronomy 4, 24. For, uh, for the Lord thy God is a consuming fire. Can you harden, against your, harden yourself against fire and survive it? Amen. Lift up your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of, the of the fire of, the fire of, your, judgment of your judgment on every witchcraft, witchcraft occult, and, and enemy altar erected, erected to fight to your fight cause you, and resist and your move you. in our midst and in our lives. And in our lives. We, ask we ask that they be consumed. We ask, we ask that they be instantly, instantly consumed, consumed by fire, Lord, by fire, Lord in, the in the name of Jesus. Again, Father, Father we, ask we ask for the release, for the release of, the of the fire of your judgment, of your judgment on every witchcraft, who caught it, an enemy altar, altar erected, erected to fight your cause and resist and your, move your move in our midst and, and in our lives. We ask, we ask that they be instantly consumed by fire, O oh Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Go on ahead and speak to God.
in Jesus precious name. Amen. The Lord has heard and, heard and answered us in Jesus name. Amen. First Samuel chapter 30 and in verse 19. And there was nothing lacking to them. Neither small nor great. Neither sons nor daughters. Neither spoil nor anything that they had taken to them. David recovered all. How many things are you going to recover? All. Everything the devil took from you. How many are you going to recover? All. Lift your voice and say after me. Say Father. Father I ask. I ask. That in this season, in this season you, will you will cause the total recovery, the total recovery and, restoration and restoration of all, of all that the enemy, that the enemy has, stolen has stolen or withheld from my life, from my life before, now. before now. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. say, Father, Father I, ask, I ask in this season, in this season you, will you will cause the total, the total recovery, recovery and, restoration and restoration of all, all that the enemy, the enemy has, stolen has stolen or withheld, or withheld from, my from my life before now. Before now. Oh Lord, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, go on ahead and pray. My heart shall. Jesus, precious name. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us. Shout the Lord and say, amen. amen. In Acts chapter 13, verse 44, Acts 13, 44. And the next Sabbath day came almost, and the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of the Lord. Almost the whole city. Father, give us revivals that will move, the, move whole cities. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we, ask we ask that you will cause, that you will cause whole, cities the whole cities to turn. To turn. That you will cause that you will cause Whole cities, whole cities to turn, to turn unto, you unto you in salvation, in salvation and, discipleship. and discipleship through the move, through the move of, your power, of your power from this altar, from this altar in, this in this season. Oh Lord, oh Lord in the name of Jesus, Jesus, go on and pray. Father, we ask that you will cause whole cities to turn to you in salvation and in discipleship through the move of your power from this altar in this season, Lord. He can tire them. Jesus. Amen. The Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you give me a louder shout of amen? amen. Loud most shout of amen. amen. Let's celebrate God for the next one minute and let's appreciate him. Wake somebody up and let them know. Lift your hands and thank you for answer to prayer. Say after me, say Father, thank you. Say, it. say Father, Father, thank you, thank you for answered prayers. Answer prayers. To you, to you alone, alone, be all the praise, all the praise. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead, let's go ahead. In Jesus' precious name. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah. 
Shout a praise and be seated in the presence of the Lord. The Lord bless his word and bless the prayers tonight in Jesus' precious name. Very, very quickly, we are going to look at testimonies, further testimonies, and then um, recorded testimonies, and then we'll go to personal supplication. Now, let's go. Cindy Mofau. Wow. Cindy. We should have seen you in person. Cindy Motau from the UK. Above only that's my place. I've come to give all the glory to God for the word of God that was declared upon my life by the servant of God on the 12th slash 13th of March 2024. After which I was spiritually enabled to attend the glory conference. I, I brought my, my sister and two other guests along. God has brought a total turnaround upon my life and my family ever since the word was ministered to me. The burden of frustration and depression has been lifted. I feel light and my prayer life is fully restored. My family members are fully active, including my mom and my uncle who can even barely understand English, but still watch alongside my sister in Botswana, regardless. And they were attending the glory conference online as well. What I love and appreciate the most is the hunger to pray that has come upon my sisters. We are now a tag team of watchmen for our family. We look out for each other and the greater bond created amongst us can only be attested to God who is continually keeping us. Our burning desire is for all of us to make it to heaven. That's right. And make significant impact within God's kingdom as a family. I also managed to celebrate my birthday on the 15th of April, 2024. God graced me with the presence of my sister, something that was so meaningful to me since my entire family is back home. Not only that, I also receive presents including the Bible, a gift I believe God for. Since the online one is sometimes distractive. God bless you, Sanma. I and my guests really had a wonderful time and experiencing God's presence. We are all eagerly waiting for the August 16th where we'll finally have a chance to meet with you in person as initially intended. God bless you and may the oil over your lives never run dry in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I wish they brought a clip to remind us of Cindy when her word came that there's somebody by name Cindy um, in the UK, you are contemplating attending the glory conference, ensure you attend and so on and so forth. If you have that, all right, go ahead. Cindy, you are at the junction. Cindy, at the junction of decision, frustration, things not working, you want to quit many things, you want to even slow down your relationship with God, but that is the wrong decision in the name of Jesus. You are contemplating being at the conference in the United Kingdom, should I go? Will there be any change? There is a visitation waiting for you there. Hey, in the name that is above every name, that visitation shall change your life. And I speak to everyone in that category. You are at a junction of a decision. The devil is making it look like God is, is failing you. But I want to let you know it's that devil that is failing you. He said, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob, you are not consumed. Give the Lord a big clap for Cindy and for everyone who was there. Thank you. I think uh, you gave us a suspense because we didn't see declaration attached, so I didn't know it was there. Give the Lord a praise. Now, Sister Yu, Sunday from Kogi State. Allah, 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 the Lord has done great and mighty things in my life, and I'm here to give glory back to God Almighty. In January 24, 24 I shared a testimony of how God changed my academic story from denials and no funding to 50%, 75%, and 90% tuition waivers. I promised I will return to give God glory for a fully funded offer within 12 months stipend and health insurance. Every time the senior pastor, Dr. Paul and Angel, will declare academic breakthroughs, I will claim all of them, believing God for my answers. Ele, God has done it all. I received my first fully funded PhD in engineering offer on January 31st, 2024 from a top U.S. school. Exactly like I had asked this God is good, though. I have received several admissions with no funding. But since I joined this altar, every admission I've gotten came with some funding. Hey! God didn't stop there. Oh! On the 4th of April, 2024, my visa to study in the U.S. was approved. Just when I thought he has finished, on the 5th of April, 2024, another fully funded PhD in engineering offer came in. God, eh! Now, people are asking me, how did I do it? 
hey, hey, hey. I went from schools rejecting me to me rejecting schools. I have rejected offers from 15 schools in the U.S. so far. God truly answers prayers on this altar. I am here to say thank you, Jesus. Because it's only he that could do all these things. I'm still believing God for financial provision to my flight and accommodation in the U.S. It is done. I will return with more testimonies. Done. As God perfects the work he has started. And with a video of myself in my school. Congratulations. God bless everyone who works to make these prayers possible. In Jesus' name, amen. Offer letters attached. That's right. These are all fully funded PhD. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Somebody trusting God for anything like that, yours is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Gloria in the UK said above all the greetings. That is our place I have returned to give God all the glory for showing me his faithfulness. On the 13th December 2023, the caretaker of where I lived in Abuja gave us a notice to quit by 31st of December with the news that the house was sold. This threw me off balance because at the time, I didn't know what to do or where to go and no money to even rent a place at that very short notice. But I felt the spirit of God urging me to be cheerful and to sing praises which I continually did without knowing what God was up to. As mandated by the caretaker, I moved out on the 3rd of January 2024. My things were scattered in different places. A family decided to accommodate me for the time being to sort myself out. God blessed them. But on that day, 3rd of January, I had to sleep at my workplace with no one knowing except the security guards just to think and clear my head because I was so stressed and exhausted and of course needed a good cry because I felt nothing was working in my life. That night, during the commanding the day midnight prayer personal supplication, I cried to God for intervention and keyed into all the declarations. Prior to this time, I had applied for a job as a biomedical scientist in the UK. I had an interview in July 2023. Was offered a job same July. After which it was all back and front with the people. No concrete news. Back and forth. All right. I totally handed it over to God and removed my mind from it since it seemed as though they didn't want to give me the job again. Especially when I heard they re-advertised the position. Brethren, our God is too much old. After the 3rd January 2024 command the day prayers. The very next day, 4th January 2024, around 1 p.m. Surprisingly and unexpectedly, I got an email all the way from the same job people in the UK. I didn't want to open it for fear of what it might say because months have gone by. But I said to myself, what is the worst that can happen? Brethren, they sent me an apology letter for the delay with my certificate of sponsorship and every in information I needed to process my traveling. I was the one requesting for extra time for them for me to get prepared. Hallelujah! Oh, I didn't have to rent house again. God came through for me when I had almost given up. Today, I am settled in the UK. To God be all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. I am definitely returning with more testimonies. God bless you, son, ma, for all the sacrifices. May heaven reward you, son, ma, richly in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless my wonderful dynamist family and all the commanded day in our prayer team. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. A bigger, bigger clap and a loud most shout of praise. From rent expiring in Nigeria to a, permanent, a job in the UK with sponsorship. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. M. Augustine from Cross River State. Above only, that is my place. Good morning, brethren in the Lord. I've come to return the glory to this great God of Dr. Pastor Paul Enencher who is too faithful to fail. I've been on this prayer altar since November 2023. Trusting God for fruitfulness of the body. That's miracle babies. Haven't been married for four years now with a child. Secondly, I felt a, such, a sudden urge to ease myself while at work. Before I could leave my office, I had urinated on myself. Chai! I got home pondering what happened at the office. Then I became thirsty. Before I could fetch a cup of water again, the urge to urinate came again. And before I could make it to the toilet, I had again urinated in my trousers. Hmm. I told my wife my experience and we changed our prayer point 
to healing of urinary incontinence and prostate disease. Then on the 8th of, August, of April 2024, of the commanded day, in I prayer, God servant, Dr. Pastor Paul, and then mention urinary incontinence during the prayer and during the prophetic declaration, he said, and I quote, I, dec I decree prostate disease is arrested and without pain around the waist, there is a particular Augustine. I take authority over that affliction from hell and all the symptoms dry up and go back to hell in the name of Jesus. I shouted amen and told my wife that that is me and immediately sowed the seed to that effect. Brethren, from that time onward, I began having relief and now I am whole. Now I have control over my urine and the sharp pain during urination is gone forever. May God continually increase the unction in your life and ministry. Bless every crew member of the commanded day night prayer and visit my family with the fruit of the womb. Amen. Declaration attached. Give the Lord a praise, people, as we receive the declaration. I mentioned urinary incontinence while the, mess, while the prayer was still on. I declared it is arrested forever. And I declare prostate disease arrested with that terrible pain around the waist. Everyone that is connected there's a particular Augustine. I take authority over that affliction from hell. And all the symptoms of it dry up and disappear and go to hell in the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Wave your hands and let's appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Today we just go straight to the clips and after that celebrate and proceed into supplications. Let's go. Above all the dates in my place, my name is Adetun Jirinyade, I'm from Midori, on those states. It is time to do this to this group early January and my word came through the month of the servants of the Lord on 31st of January when he said there was a person carrying a tube on her tummy, which is a colostomy bag, that the Lord is going to visit you within 48 hours. I, the Lord visited me when I went for when I went for check up on the 27th of March when I was wait, set, waiting to be called upon. I was listening, to, I replayed the 31st January program again, and I also listened to Lynn and Deliverance message by Dr. Paul Eneshi. It was during the pre session, I was dancing and praising God when I, when, I, when, I, when I was called upon, and I danced into the consulting room, and the doctor said, Whom I want to tell me that you can dance? That, hey, madam, how are you? I said, Fine, ma. I said, Fine, sir. I said, Could not recognize me again, da. This we were just telling to colleague around that this woman was just like a skeleton six months ago. That thank God for your life, that you are now fit now for your second surgery. Immediately the booking for the second surgery, which is going to take place on May. I know that God has saw me through the first session will see me through the second session in Jesus' name. Secondly, I want to appreciate the name of the Lord. I was into a business and nobody was patronizing me. I applied the all of possibility on all the items and people came. I started patronizing from that day to now. I've received favor from God, favor from men. The Lord has been so faithful to me. I say thank you, my father, Dr. Paul Eneshe. Thank you, mommy, Becky Eneshe. I say the oil upon you will never run dry. The Lord will continue to strengthen you and increase you in the name of Jesus. I say thank you to all the commanding the big crew. God bless you. More strength, more power in the name of Jesus. Lord, is my place. Hallelujah. My name is Grace from Bini City, Edo State. I want to thank God for commanding the Day Midnight Prayer Platform. It has revolutionized my life. It has changed my life. Um, my prayer life has improved. Before, I can't pray for very long. But now, through command the Day Midnight Prayers, I can pray for long. I also want to thank God for delivering me from forgetting my dreams. Before I forget my dreams, and even if I remember, once I remember a negative, but through command the day midnight prayer platform, especially since when Papa declared it, I don't forget my dreams again. And my dreams now are positive dreams. Um, I also want to thank God for provision. God has just been providing for me. He has been providing like everything. He has been providing all my needs. I want to say thank you, Jesus. Where I was when I started this prayer, joining this prayer, and where I am now, the difference is clear because God has promoted me. God has moved me to higher levels. I don't want to take it for granted. I want to say thank you, Jesus. I want to thank God for sound health. Since I joined this prayer, midnight prayers, um, I've not been sick. I've been well. I've been my my health has been has improved I, I have not fallen sick i want to say thank you jesus i want to thank our daddy and our mom in the love for answering the call of god on their lives 
I also want to thank Command the Dimini Prayer Crew for your labor of love. The labor of love not going rewarded in Jesus' name. Amen. Only that is my place. My name is Peter Blessing Osarugwe. I am sending my message from Libya. I am a qualified member of this amazing family of journalists. I want to give God all the glory because since my joining this platform, I've been experiencing God's mercy and faithfulness. I want to see his name be glorified and my spiritual life has been improved. I want to thank God for this early morning commanded the day program. God deliver me through the mouth of his servant, Dr. Paul Eneche. And I am giving my testimony money from Libya because now I believe God and it's not too short for him, for him not to get near to me. He's not too far from me. He's always with me. I see his name be glorified. God deliver me from severe neck pain that I've been feeling for four days now. I have even I don't even sleep at night. I can't sleep because the pain has been so severe that I am not comfortable when I'm lying down. I even cry when I'm lying down. But even this morning, during the midnight commanded day program, it became worse that I could not open my phone. All I was doing was just listening to the program and I was speaking along with them. Even when that is, we should lift up our hands, I will lift up my hands with God's strength, not by my strength, because I was weak and I was so tired. The pain was on my shoulder, my hand, and my backbone. But God spoke my word through the mouth of his servant, Dr. Paul, in this year. He said, Every neck pain, I command it back to the pit of hell. And he said, your name starts with an O, which my name, my traditional name is Osarugwe, which means God cover me. Truly, God has been over my life. I say, may his name be glorified. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you for remembering me, Lord. I have we share more testimony, more amazing and shocking testimony. Since that, since this morning, I have not felt the pain and I slept wonderfully. I slept like a baby and I woke up like a baby. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Daddy, mommy, happy marriage anniversary. I will call, also want to celebrate with you on your 60 years marriage anniversary. Good day, ma. Good day, sir. Give the Lord a praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Thank God Elijah from Oron, Akwaibo State. I want to thank God for delivering me from witchcraft attack and from being sick every month. I was sent into this town by divine leading to start up a, a work for God. And when I came in, it used to be very, very tough because almost every night I would have an encounter with mad people fighting me and you know, running after me and chasing me and stuff like that. And I would, I would wake up in the morning very sick. And I used to be sick every month used to be sick of malaria every month, malaria and typhoid. Sometimes this malaria, they will not respond to the treatments. And I, I, I did all I could just to get rid of this challenge. But thank God for the commanding the day midnight prayer. Since the inception of this uh, commanding the day midnight prayer, I have been connecting with my faith 100%, trusting God that the same God that has been healing people that I've been hearing about will come true for me. There was a day, Sina Pastor made a declaration that re reoccurring sicknesses were being settled, were being checked back to her. And I key into that prayer and I shouted amen. Since that day till eternity, the malaria that used to come every month, every month I must treat malaria, that agenda was arrested by that declaration. And I'm not taking it for granted. I am here to say thank you, Jesus, and to say thank you, Papa and Mama, and to say thank you to everybody that made this prayer a, a, a possibility. I say may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Give Christ. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can we stand up on our feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings? Go, 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 go. Ah.
Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Let's go before the Lord. 30 seconds of precision. Another 60 seconds to tell the Lord what is on your heart and what you want him to do for you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Can we all be upstanding? Just lift your hands and get set for total restoration. Lift your hands. Let your hands on. I am so. 
Your hands, Father, we give you the praise, we give you the honor, we give you the adoration. Blessed be your name, honor to your name. I speak, I prophesy, I decree, and declare a complete total restoration for your life, for your family, for your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare spiritual restoration. We had many testimonies. Of people who lost spiritual life and got restoration. I decree for everybody who is battling with their spiritual life. Restoration in the name of Jesus. I declare restoration in the name of Jesus. 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 I prophesy financial restoration. Where the enemy took what is yours or withheld what is yours. Before the next three days are out. It is in your heads. I prophesy health restoration. You lost your health. You were whole before. All of a sudden you never felt sick frequently. All of a sudden, you became more like a customer to the hospital. I declare that health attack is over forever in the name of Jesus. Recently, your, 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 your dream became very, very terrible. Nightmares, pursued, being chased, waking up, sweating in the dream of the night. Somebody with an O name and an N name as well. I declare today that enemy altar that is pursuing and chasing your life is set on fire right now in the name of Jesus. There is someone who is a victim of demonic orchestrations, demonic fabrications, demonic accusations, things you know nothing about that the enemy has scheduled for you or in Father, you are in the midst of right now. I declare today it is broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. The accuser of the brethren is arrested and sent back to hell. In the name of Jesus. Witchcraft razor mark on the body. More on the hand. Actually an attack on your finances and the work of your hands. I declare that witchcraft attack arrested and sent back to hell. In the name of Jesus. Somebody with an A, a name like an Ambrose or like an Andrew. I take authority over that witchcraft agenda. Be free in the name of Jesus. I see a car that is yours that is held somewhere. I don't know what, what has to do with the car. Whether you paid for a car or something. But it's held somewhere. It belongs to you. The, that A name still. I declare today what is yours that the enemy has kept is released with urgency in the name of Jesus. Jesus. It's Stephanie that is a victim of betrayal. Betrayal from friends, betrayal from loved one. We have to pay the frina katanana a backstab. Let the fret a sina kalaya conspiracy. That borders on your relationship and destroys them. I take authority over that altar. I declare it is arrested forever in the name of Jesus. And everyone that is a victim of betrayals, a victim of conspiracies, backstab, enemy agenda, trying to destroy our relationships all the time. I declare that spirit of the prayer, the, that spirit of betrayal over forever. In the name of Jesus, I see someone's life in a balance. They are actually running helter-skelter. Yeah. 
just hanging in the balance like any moment if they, if, if, if they go out of where he is my breath is last I take authority over that spirit of death right now I declare restoration wherever you are watching right now I prophesy death spirit arrested go to hell leave in the name of Jesus blood is crazy as just hear it I heard that in the course of the prayer being healed every 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 challenge with the blood the red blood cell the white blood cells the platelets the lymph the lymphatics all the way into leukemias all the way into blood cell cancers the white blood cells the red blood cells erythrocytosis all the way into sickle cell anemia into beta thalassemia into into hemoglobin c everything that has to do with the blood the blood cell the red blood cell the white blood cell platelet deficiency where you have bleeding disorder your hand is cut a little it's just bleeding like that let us start a fret intravascular disseminated intravascular coagulopathy everything with this blood is crazy as you are watching wherever you are connected there is a healing by the balm in Gilead by the blood of Jesus is cleaning out your blood is restoring the blood cells is making them normal is killing the cancers out of the blood in the name of Jesus intervention with ectopic pregnancy ectopic pre pregnancy naturally should be the removal of a fallopian tube by surgery that leaves the woman with just one fallopian tube. But here is an intervention. Ectopic pregnancy is confirmed. And the next thing to do is to remove that fallopian tube. But God is intervening right now. I don't know what he's going to do. Whether he's going to disappear that ectopic pregnancy. Or push the baby from the tubes into the womb, into the uterus. Whatever it is, the fallopian tube is saved. And ectopic pregnancy is reversed. And divine intervention is released. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. The right knee and the lower back condition is also healed. And that demon of masturbation, black devil, I cause it to leave you right now. In the name of Jesus, get out! Somebody is trying IVF and they are saying that your ovaries are not there. And ovulatory cycles, they, 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 the eggs are not good. They want to, they need a donor egg or something. I announce to you today that verdict is cancelled. Eggs are coming in the name of Jesus. The one who created can recreate. The one who created at first has papers. I speak to you right now. I declare this papers are needed. And now I speak to everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Whether it is low sperm count, whether it is an ovulatory cycle, whether it's polycystic ovarian syndrome, whether it's upper prolactin anemia whether it is it is it is any form of factor that has uh, uterine fibroids endometriosis whatever it is that is a curse of delaying pregnancy i declare the delay is over in the name of jesus go forth and bring forth your children right now you wake up in the morning you can you have the right to go and check yourself because it is done someone is being set free from serpentine torment it's like it's wrapped around like an invisible serpent around the waist, around the lower abdomen. I set it on fire as I speak. You know that there's a serpentine altar in your community and you feel that presence around you right now. In the name of Jesus, I cut it off and I set it on fire. And every other victim of the serpent, the yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus, up upper abdominal condition that has to do with gastritis, epigastric pains and all of that right there. Today is the end of it. Somebody with food allergy, you eat some kind of food, it's like your whole life is on fire. Today is the end of it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Somebody lift your hands and give the Lord the praise. Give the Lord the praise, give him the honor, give him the adoration. Because upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Give him the praise, 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 give him the praise. Hallelujah! It is done in Jesus precious name. Anywhere you are watching online in need of surrender to Jesus, have your sins forgiven. Pray this prayer after me with your hand on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. 
Today I've decided to follow you, Lord, and not turning back. Forward ever, backward never. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. You pray that prayer, let us know you pray that prayer. Details on the screen on how you can reach us is there. We look forward to hearing from you. God bless you. And Ethiopia Crusade is not online. Pastor is here all the way from Ethiopia to fine-tune the arrangement for that crusade. And also Kenya Crusade, the same week with Ethiopia Crusade. You are welcome, Pastor. And we'll talk shortly. And then I trust the Lord for his goodness and mercies in the land of Ethiopia and also in Kenya. Hallelujah. You can place the, the things on the screen. Please, Kenya, go full blast. If you need any further information to let us know, Ethiopia also go full blast in advert and let's trust the Lord for a great manifestation of God in Ethiopia and also in Kenya. God bless you. Stretch your two hands in front of you as I pray right now. I prophesy upon your hands that your harvest shall look for you from the north, the south, the east, and the west. What is yours? No devil shall hold back. I call it done in Jesus' precious name. Somebody say amen. Somebody say a louder amen. Somebody shout the loudest believers, amen. Wave your hands and give him the praise. Let's go on ahead. Give up your offerings, your tithes, your pledges. Honor God. Tomorrow, we shall, be, we shall be dealing on realizing visions and dissolving delays. That is, whatever has detained your vision that has delayed the manifestation of what you are trusting God for, we are dealing with the delays and releasing the visions. Inform your friends and loved ones and it's going to be a great night. God bless you. 2024. And above only, where is your place? And above only, God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Celebrations on. Let's go. I worship you, and I'm a Yankee and Kelly.